If we fail now, then our crusade ends here. Burn it all if I don't get what's mine. We're back, everyone. Let's jump into the next chapter. Ah! One of the things I was meant to say last time with the warning from the death guy did make me doubly double down on my chaos theory. We shall destroy the Night Haunt Vanguard. They will not ward Lord Gloam. It will be as the master of manipulation has foreseen. Turn them to ash! Right! The Magister of the Vile Chaos God of Change seeks to destroy the artifact. Then it must be powerful indeed. Why would the Night Haunt? The night haunt have fallen by our hands. Lord Gloam's procession approaches soon. All is as he has shown. Our corruption of their lands have spurred Lord Gloam to act. Take thine host to the appointed place. Ah, deception doth begin. Of course. His Majesty used the corrupting influence of chaos to taint the lands. The artifact was unsafe. Lord Gloam had no choice but to move it. Right, I just wanted to talk for a split second because a lot just happened and there was a lot to do with this past stuff as well. In the last part, I paused here just to have a quick second to talk as well. Zinch over the moon to see we're going to play as Zinch for this uh, this level. One of the things I uh, speculated last time was I wonder how they're going to do it. Are they going to do it like the Dawn of War 3 style where it was like three levels as Space Marines or three levels as Orcs and three levels as whatever. Are we going to get like three levels as uh, uh, Sigmarines? I've forgotten what they call Stormcast. There we go. 
three levels is Zenshrine, three levels is uh, Night Haunt, and then three levels is the Oryx or something. And what are we going to get? I don't know. I'm quite interested to see that. And also Zinch! Over the moon that we're playing Zinch. Um, the other thing I thought was really interesting, I wanted to point out, because I think it'll be interesting too, the character here, the Stilka, whatever her name was, the thing with the eyes... I wonder if that is just a split personality disorder type thing, which is very fitting for Zinch, which is the lord of the god of change, uh, lies and deception and all that stuff. They love change, and so like they change their personality, so it's a split personality disorder. Or I wonder if it was more like the Kairos Fate Weaver thing, where uh, they had. Kairos Fate Weaver was a Lord of Change, a greater demon of Zinch, that in the fantasy setting, I don't know if they're still around in the Age of Sigmar setting, um, had two heads, and one could only see the future, and one could only see the past, and neither of them could see the present. So they were having to constantly sort of fine-tune, and I thought it was really interesting. They were still an insanely powerful spellcaster, and still an insanely powerful, like, uh, character in the lure of uh, Warhammer Fantasy. But I just I think it was really interesting. Could you imagine the, like, constant, like, going, right, I know this happens in the future, that happened in the past, and you've got, like, this, I don't know, five minutes, an hour... I don't know how long the gap was that you couldn't see, and you're having to go, right, I need to block, there should be a swing coming in from this side roughly now, good, I blocked that one. Oh, I need to cast that spell over there roughly now, good, I got that off in time. When you've seen it happen in the past, five minutes later, or you may be like, ow, oh, that hurt my leg, and like, what happened there? And then like five, like once the whatever time, it's, 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 I just thought that was an amazing, because seeing the future and seeing the past is an insanely powerful, insanely powerful ability then having that balanced by the fact that you cannot see the present just it sounds like a hyster it sounds like a comedy sketch waiting to happen i just always thought that was really interesting so i thought i'd bring it up here because i wonder if she's got the same thing going on or if it is just a split personality it's probably just a split personality but i thought i would bring it up Yeah, I will save that. There's no need to cast that. Oh, and also I'm forgetting I'm low on resources. I should save that. Let's get up here and capture this point as soon as we can. Let's get these pink orders actually firing. We will be elevated. Each bow is a step towards immortality. Let's get him. Get him! The Lord of Fate! No, what are you doing? Don't go into melee. She can go into melee if she wants, but use fire. Good, Pink Horrors. Good. I remember it was roughly this point as well. I was like, I wonder... It's like, I remember saying, I really, really doubt it, but I wonder if when the Pink Horrors die... I suppose we should maybe take a look at the models, too. Because we've not seen these guys yet. I wonder when the Pink Horrors die, do they turn into Blue Horrors? And I was gobsmacked to see that they actually do. And I was really happy with that. I was not expecting it. Attuned to only damage the Lord Groom. So yeah, it does a lot of damage to him, but it's not that great against other stuff. But it does not get me resources. I'm going to need at least two to get me resources. So let's quickly beeline up this way to grab some of these ones. Now let's take a look at units. Let's get some of them ready to then maybe try and capture this one. So we're going to set up an ambush. I need resources, so we need to capture this one ASAP too, but I think here is probably the best place for a choke point possible. If we get some ranged unit up there, we get a ranged unit down there, shoot the choke point. Kairos, not Kairos, Fate Weaver, the uh, Lord Gloom is OP as hell. He is OP as hell. He's got an ability in melee that he just literally deletes everyone close to him. So... I felt like I should point that out now, just to explain why I'm thinking the way I am. Oh, oh, oh. You definitely do not want to be there. Oh, 
possessed greater power. Redstone, please. Units, let's get... So I don't want a lot of melee units. And I also need to think about upgrading this at some point. Let's send these guys back to heal. Oh look, see we got some blue horrors. We got some blue horrors. Let's get these guys are going. Wheels within wheels. We are all the way. Let's get you guys are going. Let's get you up here ready to be your uh, trope point just ready. Horrors of siege. Answer our summons. We see the enemy as predicted. I wonder if their damage of this unit goes up then because of the because of the blue horrors. Our lives are for our lord. Change is upon us. Charge there, please. Enlightenment by war. Right, lovely. These guys can retreat to heal. Let's get these guys ready here. The great game is afoot, and we must focus on the objective. Let's get one unit there to protect them. Let's get this unit here to protect this unit. This unit's there to heal. And then we're gonna use send you around to capture the rest of these. Let's get this upgrade. How long till the Lord Gloom arrives? Not too long. Now that I've got these three units again, let's send you up this way. We'll capture this point. Yes, upgrades. Is there any for the pink horrors? You. Smart heal to allies. Oh, heals enemies. His attack damage and range. That's what heals allies and yeah, then we'll get the sorceress of bolts so they can help out with some damage from up here. I did not realize it healed as well. I did not realize her ability healed. That's quite good, so she's like a healer and a damage dealer. Right, up here now please, capture me this. We need the other one, which is gonna give us the other type of resource. Decisions, decisions. Bounty of Cinch. Let's just heal them. The yeah, lovely. Heal, 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 heal. We oh, you just need to stand in that and make that bigger. And we need to upgrade this. Where is that? Yeah, we need to wait till it's in there too so they can stand over there. Why are you just not healing? Why are you not healing? Should you just not heal now that you are here? Maybe they will start to now. Well, if they're not going to heal, I'll be just moving them there to fire down here. Great mystery guides and there. Don't have the resource to upgrade this right now. My lord will guide me. We can't get that off at the moment. Let's take a look at this point here. We'll look to capture it. I can get them now, but I don't feel like they're going to be able to help much. Lady, scouts have sighted Lord Gloom's procession. 
Here he comes! Oh, actually, don't want them yet. I want. Right, it's F move to attack move, isn't it? Yes, it is. So here comes his procession. This will start attacking him if it's finished. Speed. Let's go for the damage. Let's charge here. Then to attack here. Come here. The procession approaches our first ambush site. Master of change, your will shall be done. Alright, they're not gonna hold me up to hold them there for long. Right, let's get Such has unearthed fresh knowledge. That there. Let's push and take this one here. Lord Gloom is OP as hell, he's got so much health. The range units are the only ones that are half decent against him as well, but we can keep kiting him and bring him around. Units are firing. They're conquering there right now. I'm actually going to bring you around here. Don't have enough resources. Let's get that there, please. You. Oh, actually, yours and here would be perfect. He is getting a lot further away than I had hoped. This is going a lot worse than last time. Last time he. Last time I was able to get him, drag him back. Here he's not going after me of stuff at all. Here he's Lord Gloom's just running for it. This He didn't do that last time. He did not do that last time at all. How'd I pull him back? I need units up here now! Can I get a round point up here? Send me units! Right, he's miles away from there now, so there's no point in getting anything there other than resources. If I can get him to pull back, he's got to come around down this way. Right, get attacking, get attacking! How 
killed it last time. Last time he would follow me, he'd follow my units, and I was able to hate him and pull him back. This time they're not he's not following at all. Oh. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. I don't know what I'm really doing overly different this time. Because last time he was making sure he attacked all the points and taking them from me. So if I recaptured one, he would go back and capture it. Where is he? There he's there. He's nearly at the end. He is nearly at the end. He never got. He didn't even get past this one last time I played this level. I don't know what I'm doing. It's over different. But no, not retreat. I thought it was charge. No. Oh no. I did that was overly different last time I passed that level first time. Huh. Hmm. Right. Anyway. I know it's a wee bit early. But I'm really low on time. I think I'll see. I hope you've all enjoyed this. We were so close to catching up to where I was before. Because literally all I'd done was finish this level. If we'd won that level, we'd have been fine. And look, if we scroll down complete in 35 minutes or less 17 minutes he did not stop how could we have slowed him down we had units to tease him maybe you need to maybe you need to put melee units closer to him maybe it was melee unit because this time i avoided him with melee units that's the only thing i can think of that was different maybe when he sees the melee units he wants to get that ability off the yeah the artifact burst ability maybe because he's not trying to get that artifact burst ability off Perform the optional ritual at the obelisks. What optional ritual? I, I don't know what the optional ritual is. Maybe there's a ritual I did like, that, that draws them back that I wasn't aware of. But anyway, we'll try that again next time. Or we'll just say I won it, but well, we'll see. Because I've already won it. I just, yeah. Hope you've all enjoyed this anyway. I'll see you all next time. Bye, see, bye.